All right, how's it going? Back once again. So, been a little while. I know I was busy with so much stuff. I just didn't have time to make a full YouTube video, but we're back and I'm gonna try and do weekly tutorials. I've been asked by loads of people for tutorials on all my stuff that I've been uploading and I have them all filmed. I just haven't edited them. So I'm gonna edit them and once a week, we're gonna get a tutorial as we go. And you're gonna have loads of stuff to watch, to learn, to enjoy. And I'm gonna try and pot in some more vlogs and kind of fun stuff taking you on shoots. That'll be fun to watch and you get to experience what it's kind of like on these kind of shoots. So anyway, what we're doing today in this video is I'm showing the tutorial for this video here where I turn myself kind of into Wanda Maximoff from the WandaVision series or the Marvel's Avengers or you know, she's in a fair few things. She's in the upcoming Doctor Strange, I'm pretty sure. And what I did, I just basically used the light in my hands to pick up a bowl of cereal, bowl of milk, and at the end I actually picked up a spoon as well, kind of like this and dropped it into my hand, but I removed that from the final video because I didn't think it looked that great and what I'm going to do is show you how you can easily make a video like this and it actually is very easy it's not like some tutorials where it's like watch a simple trick and it's really complicated it can be made very easy so I'm going to show you two methods the first method I'm going to show you is going to be the more difficult method that's going to give you the best results and then the second method I'm going to show you is the easier method if you're just starting out filmmaking or film editing and you don't want to go into these after effects or anything like that so filming what we do first you want to set your phone or your camera on a tripod and just have it set up very still now as you can see my first clip here is just me walking in acting like i am having fire or light whatever that stuff is she has in her hands in my hand and pretending to throw it and lift stuff i'm just acting it all out what you can do to sell this effect a little bit more is get an orange light like this one here from this is the we light k21 i showed this on a video before and basically when you snap your hands shine a light on yourself so it's kind of like a natural glow instead of having to add the red in afterwards so if you imagine just like bam and i can pretend i have a light here and then replace this light edit it out afterwards so then what you do you buy a big green screen this is the one i used in this video here but you can use whatever green screen you want and what i did i just lifted the box of cereal up and then I did the exact same with the milk cart. So that's basically all the filming, two clips, very simple to film. So the editing, the main core of the tutorial, why you clicked on, you wanna learn a bit of editing and a bit of filmmaking. So the first section here, which I'm gonna talk about is gonna be advanced. I'm gonna use a little bit of After Effects. I'd recommend watching, but if you want the easier version and don't wanna watch all this, I'll put a time down here where you can skip to just the Premiere Pro version. So all my After Effects people or people who wanna learn After Effects, here we are. You get your first clip and open it up in After Effects. This is just you acting it out. I'm gonna show how to add the fireball into your hand. So once you have your clip in your timeline, you need to create a null object to so just leave it there and nothing to worry about for now. So you tap on your clip, go over here to tracker, tap on track motion, and then you're gonna get this little box. You want to move this little box over an area of your hand, pinpoint it with an area of contrast, like a, a knuckle or something like that, so you can track it accurately. So you want to set the target for this track to the null object that you've just created. So you press the play forward arrow, let it track forward and track your hand. If at any stage the track goes off, all you do, you go back to that frame where it went off, where it went wayward, and you move your box back onto your knuckle or back onto wherever you chose it, and then press play again, and then keep doing this until it's all done. When you're finished, just apply it to your null layer, and that's all you need to do for that. That's the complicated tracking part done. So what I did next, I went on YouTube and I found just a stock video of a Wanda Vision sort of power thing with a black background. So you wanna import this. It's got a black background, so we're gonna change the blending mode to screen by tapping these buttons down here. This basically just removes the black in the video. So then you just want to use the position properties to position and scale down the fireball until it's over the area of your hand. Then you want to go down to this little spiral thing here, which is called a pick whip, a very cool name. You get the pick whip and you press on it and drag a line onto the null object. This basically pairs it to the null object, so the tracking data that we did earlier, tracking the knuckle, is applied to the null was applied to the null object, and now everything that's equipped to the null object is now going to follow that same path of data. So if you press play now, your fireball will now trace the path of your hand, which is pretty cool. So that's basically it for tracking. What I did at the start, I set my opacity to zero, and then I changed it to 100% over the course of four frames, so the fireball wouldn't just suddenly appear. It would like like kind of grow into frame. So you do the exact same for your second hand. So you've got your two fireballs. Now we just need to add in cereal. So first we need to get rid of the green screen, 
but because we're in After Effects, we actually don't need to get rid of the green screen if we don't want to. If you do want to, you can use the color key to get rid of the green in the video. However, I just use Roto Brush. So you tap on this little tool up here, double click on your clip of the serial, and it's gonna take you into a new tab up top. And basically all you do, you draw a green box around the edge of your serial box, and it'll remove everything else in the video apart from the serial. Then you just press the play button on your laptop or computer. If at some stage you accidentally include something else, all you do, you can hold the Alt or Option button on your keyboard, and while you're holding this, just paint out places you don't want. If you want to add in more spots in the video to include, you just draw it while the cursor is green. And then you do the exact same tracking detail that we did before to add the red glow to the bottom of the cereal box. And then you do the exact same with the milk cart. Okay, and now for the Premiere Pro version alone. Now this is easier in the fact that it's only done in Premiere Pro, but it might actually take you more hours and a bit more work to get it done because Premiere Pro is not as good as After Effects, mainly because After Effects has a rotoscope tool which Premiere Pro doesn't. The rotoscope tool is what I talked about earlier. It just erases everything for you frame by frame. In Premiere Pro, you're gonna have to do it yourself. And there's no tracking in Premiere Pro, so again, you're gonna have to do this manually. So first thing we want to do, we want to track the fireball to follow our hands as we're doing our little magic tricks. So how we do this in Premiere Pro, we open up our first clip of us acting out our scene. Then we go to YouTube, find a stock clip of a fireball with a black background. You can find loads of them on stock libraries as well, wherever you want them. Use the screen blending mode to get rid of the black in the video and you're left with just the fireball. Reposition this fireball until it's over the area of your hand using the position and scale properties and then press on the stopwatch here to make a keyframe at the starting point. Now go three frames forward, reposition your fireball to track your hand, go another three frames forward, move your fireball to follow your hand, another three frames and just keep following your hand and eventually you're gonna have a manually drawn tracking path for the fireball. Now, if you want the fireball to fade in, all you do, you go to the start of your fireball clip when you want it to come in, tap on this stopwatch down here beside opacity, change it to 0% and then four frames later, change it to 100% so it blends in. And now you have you with your fireball tracking your hands, doing your magic. So now we need to add in our carton of cereal. Carton of cereal, carton of milk, box of cereal. Now we need, uh, now we need to add in our box of cereal. How we do this in Premiere Pro? First, we want to get rid of the green screen. Go to the effects section, search Ultra P, drag and drop this onto your clip. Go down to this eyedropper tool, tap the eyedropper, tap on the area of green on your green screen, change the mode to aggressive, and the green is gone. Now, the last thing you need to get rid of is your hand. How you do this? This is the nightmare part of Premiere Pro. What you have to do, you have to press on mask again and draw a mask just around the outside of the cereal box where your hand can be seen. Tap on keyframe of your mask, go three frames forward, track the edge of the cereal box with the same mask. Three frames forward, track the edge, three frames forward, track the edge, track the edge over and over again until your clip is finished. And then eventually, eventually, I'd say it'll take you ages and a lot of cutting down, going back, fixing corners and stuff, but eventually, You'll get there and then you have your cereal box floating. You do the exact same manual masking and ultra key to get rid of the green screen for the milk. And then you have a video just like this, which I think turned out pretty cool. It did take me a while to edit, but like if you want these kind of results um, to go online, people seem to really like this video and these recreation videos. Uh, you kind of have to put in a little bit of extra work. You don't have to. I'm sure, we all enjoy making it. That's why we're here. So yeah, if you did enjoy, I'd love to hear your comments below and let me know below what superhero you want next or what movie scene. And um, yeah, really hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you did enjoy because that will really help me out and I can continue making more stuff. And yeah, hopefully see you soon. Another tutorial next week. See you there.